Aloha again everyone, this is Randoms on my mind and I am back with another video. In this video I'm going to talk about membership rewards points. I have the topics right here and let's see. The first topic is what are membership rewards points? The second topic is what cards earn the membership rewards points? The third topic is how can membership rewards points be used? And the fourth topic is what to consider about these points. So what are Membership Rewards Points? The Membership Rewards Points program is a program that is run by American Express. American Express, also shortened down to Amex, has a few cards that fall in this program. Whenever you use one of the cards to make a purchase, you'll accumulate points and later on these points can be used towards different things, which I'll talk about later on in this video. However, this leads me to topic number two, which is what cards from American Express earn membership rewards points. There are five cards that earn the membership rewards points. They are the Platinum card, the Gold card, the Green card, Everyday Preferred card, and finally Everyday card. The first three cards, the Platinum card, the Gold card, and the Green card are known as uh, charge cards. And the last two cards, the Everyday Preferred card and the Everyday card, are credit cards. The main distinction between a charge card and a credit card is that for a charge card, you have to pay off the bill in full. Whereas with a credit card, you're able to carry a balance, although you never should because you'll get charged a crazy amount of interest and it pretty much negates all of the points that you've accumulated. Each card has bonus categories attached to the card and they all differ one way or another. For the Platinum card, there's five times bonus points for spend that is made directly with the airlines. Also, it earns five times points on hotel reservations as long as it's uh, booked directly through Amex Travel or American Express Travel. Next is the Gold card, which used to be called the Premier Rewards Gold card. The Gold card earns four times points at U.S. restaurants important distinction between U.S. and uh, all restaurants. It also earns four times points at U.S. supermarkets, which is again an important distinction between U.S. and all. The last bonus category for the gold card is three times bonus points for airline spend. The last charge card that earns membership rewards points is the green card, which earns a bonus two times for all spend made through Amex Travel. Now onto the credit card side, there's the American Express Everyday Preferred card and the Everyday card. For the Everyday Preferred card, the bonus categories are three times points at US supermarkets and two times points at US gas stations. Also, if you use this card 30 or more times in a billing cycle, you can earn an extra 50% points. Finally, for the Everyday card, this card earns two times points at U.S. supermarkets. Also, if you use this card 20 times or more in a billing cycle, you can earn 20% more points. It's great if you have multiple cards that earn membership rewards points because then when you're making purchases, you're able to choose which card will give you the highest amount of bonus points or the highest return on your spend. All right, topic three. How can membership rewards points be used? There are six different ways of using membership rewards points. The first method is to transfer these points to either airline or hotel partners. Here are the different airline partners that are tied into the American Express membership rewards program. And here are the different hotel partners that are tied into this program. You can transfer these points out to the different airline or hotel partners which will be converted to miles or hotel points and from there you can book the flights or hotel rooms that you desire. A lot of people in the miles and points game feel that this method of redemption for points is the best for the value. A lot of the times you can get a very high value for the points that you've accumulated compared to the methods that I will be talking about right now. Method two for using the points are through uh, different websites that allow you to pay for purchases using your membership rewards points. Some of these websites include Amazon, Grubhub, and even Walmart. 
Method three is to use the points on Amex Travel. So if you're going to book a flight or book a hotel room, rather than paying up front all of the cash value, you can use points to offset the balance or even pay for your whole reservation in full. Next, you can use the membership rewards points to buy gift cards. Gift cards are of course good, but they don't give you the best value, I'd say. The fifth way to use your points is what Amex calls cover your card charges. If there's a charge that can be paid for with points, it'll show up on the Amex website. The last way, which is the absolute worst way, is to pay with your points. You can actually use your points to pay for certain items through like a program that is on the American Express website. But I would highly, highly, highly suggest against it. I would actually suggest you buy gift cards first before going this method of paying with points. Because for this method, it's actually a redemption of two points for one cent. Topic number four, which is the last topic, is what to consider about membership rewards points. That is, if, well, what do you consider if you get involved in this program? The main thing to know is that if you cancel your cards involved in this program, that you will lose all of your points. Reason being is because if you don't have any cards that are able to hold the points, then there is no other way to hold the points, if that makes sense. So if you have like 572,891 points on uh, three different cards that earn membership rewards points, and you cancel all three of them, then there goes all of your points. I'd say one of the best strategies to have is to uh, open and keep long term the everyday card. This card does not have an annual fee so it's free to keep forever and as long as you keep the card open then your points balance will stay active also. And then of course you can always use the card and add to your points balance. If you're gonna cancel the card just because you're gonna move on from American Express or whatever then make sure that you transfer out or you use all of the points or as much points as you can before you cancel your cards. Very important to do, don't forget it. That's it for this video. In a future video I'd like to give some examples, some real world examples of actually redeeming points for airfare or for hotels which like I said are the best redemption rates to give you the highest value. All right. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.